Hi, everybody. Jared Johnson here with Day Traders FX. I just wanted to share a couple of quick ideas with you uh, this week related to some trading. Um, but as always, feel free to stop by daytradersfx.com. You can follow us on Twitter and YouTube and Facebook and get a whole bunch of uh, cool free trading tips and ideas and so on. Uh, plus, you can get a little free trial to our trade group. We'd love to have you. It's always great to meet new traders and to expand um, our, our group. So we'd love to have you. Okay, so whether you trade the news or not is totally and completely irrelevant because we see something very interesting happening on the charts. This week, I am so tired of hearing about whether the U.S. is going to raise interest rates or not raise interest rates or whatever they're going to do because it's all speculation. We're going to just have to wait and see what happens. There's everyone saying it's going to happen, and then there's absolutely everyone else saying it's not going to happen, and then there's everyone else saying we're on the fence. We don't know. So as you can tell, a lot of people don't know what's going on. Um, but it doesn't change the fact that this is a highly anticipated event. This is going to be Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific time, which is 2 p.m. Cent or excuse me, Eastern time. And what's going to happen there is the U.S. Uh, Federal Reserve, the U.S. Central Bank is going to talk about interest rates, uh, whether they're raising them right now, whether they're not, uh, whatever may be happening there. And it's going to cause a lot of wild and crazy movement. Um, probably, most likely, things will just get choppy. We'll get some spikes up and some spikes down, and then everything will go sideways. Or we may get a huge movement up or a huge movement down. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to talk about that. And with my trade group, we're going to have a live uh, event during the, the release of the U.S. interest rates. But what I want to say today is this will be a good opportunity between now and then. Today's Thursday, or excuse me, today's Tuesday. We have the rest of Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday until we get to the news on, on uh, late Thursday morning. Um, this is a great opportunity to look for just some nice short-term trades. If you go to pretty much any four-hour chart and look over the last couple of weeks, you can see that not much has happened over the last few weeks. We had some big movements on the euro and so on, but last couple of weeks, pretty choppy on euro dollar. Last couple of weeks on pound dollar, uh, Pretty choppy. Got some little movements there, but, but you know, fairly choppy business. Last couple of weeks on the Aussie dollar, just kind of some choppy stuff. Um, but we're slowly starting to get some pretty nice little price patterns forming and some good things that we can get in and trade. But for the meantime, this is a great opportunity to just drop down to some of those lower time frames. I'm infamous for loving the four hour chart and loving the daily chart and loving the one hour chart. But this is not a bad time. To look for those time frames on some smaller or those price patterns on some smaller time frames. Here, for example, on the euro dollar, we have a pretty nice little bear flag uh, on the 15 minute chart. What can this give us? This might be able to, to, to shell out 15, 20, 30 pips. It's an easy little trade. It's, a, it's something that we can do from a lower time frame and just grab a few pips if we happen to be sitting in front of our charts and able to. Um, Kind of watch the trade and just be in something for maybe 10 or 15 or 20 minutes or a half hour uh, um, and let it play out. Just a nice little time to look for some short-term trades uh, while things are choppy because chances are markets are going to kind of continue to just wait and wait and wait for the news to hit. But we're going to see these little creeps, these little tiny things happening. You can see there's a lot of consolidation, a lot of choppy. We're going to get these little tiny creepings happening here. And so let's just watch things on that 15-minute chart and on that uh, uh, even as low as a 5-minute chart, all the while keeping in context what is happening on larger time frames like 1-hour charts and 4-hour charts and daily charts. But let's just look for entries on 15-minute charts. Look for profit targets on 15-minute charts. Look for uh, stop losses on 15-minute charts. And just kind of, we, we don't want to keep it too short-term. I'm not trading on the one-minute chart, but at the same time, some of the one-hour chart trades uh, might be a little bit, uh, 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 you know, a little bit much for the next couple of uh, days before we get to that FOMC news. So that's what I'm saying there. Um, Let's keep an eye on all of these time frames, uh, or excuse me, all of these charts uh, uh, and different currency pairs, but let's really focus on uh, keeping everything in context on the larger time frames, but looking for entries and stop losses and profit targets on the 15-minute chart and even on a rare occasion on the five-minute chart. I don't do much on the five-minute chart. I'm really 15-minute charts, really my lowest time frame. But there may be some good opportunities over the next 48 hours on that, even on that five-minute chart. I'm going to keep an eye on this little bear flag on the euro dollar. We'll see how this plays out. We have a kind of a short-term head and shoulders pattern. So this might be an easy 20, 30, 40 pips 
that we can just kind of get into and grab on the way uh, on the way down uh, if it can break through uh, uh, some of these lows. So it'll be something to watch. Just uh, just just a little thought. Just look for some short term trades when the news hits. Uh, make sure you're protected, make sure you're covered, make sure that uh, you don't have any trades without stop losses on anything dollar related and even most anything yen related as well uh, when, when, the, uh, when, when the news hits on Thursday morning because it's just going to be crazy and it's probably going to be kind of stupid whatever ends up happening. So it would be best to just let it hit, let the market breathe and then come back five minutes after the news and, uh, and start looking for some entries. So should be exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for watching. Hope this was a little bit helpful. Good luck over the next 48 hours. And let's be ready for some wild action on Thursday with the FOMC interest rate news.